Here's another uh, curiosity piece here. This is a, a cooler I'm working on. Skull trail build. And I thought this might be a good time to show you how easy it is to build stuff with pop rivets and aluminum. It's like it's like Legos for big kids. It's great. It's great fun. Got to try it out. It's a blast. Basically, I like to use clamps because that way when you're drilling, you're not screwing around wondering, oh, gee, is the piece of metal right up against there and so on and so forth. The surface that you're going to look at, or even both surfaces, you can put some tape around the clamps, helps out with the marring. Now, you notice I'm not really going to some exact number, you know, I'm just looking around at what I got. I've got 2 and 13 sixteenths, so come on over here. I've got, uh, oh my gosh, i got to come down a whole sixteenth here. Here we have three PA 120.3s by Thermochill radiators designed specifically for PC cooling. This shifts about 1500 watts. These are S-Flex. They're being undervolted. They're probably running around 1500 RPM. We've got three pumps over here. That'll go in here shortly. That'll be our next movie. Okay, I've uh, inserted a simple rheostat in the circuit. In the van, you can just barely hear them. They're just barely ticking over. Okay, 
That's about as loud as I can stand. Now we could volt some higher. Then, you know, you got this annoying sound. That's the fans at full pelt. Now I'm going to trim them back to rheostat. Which is where I'd like them to run most of the time. I still can't get to the lowest setting. At that point, it's virtually inaudible. When you get this far away, and with the Sonex on it, you'll never hear it.